Hey there! Today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on creating your unique brushes in Adobe Illustrator. First off, you'll need to draw your brush. You can do this on paper, and then transfer the image to vector. The resulting brush stroke will be my foundation. Next step is to cut out a segment from the brush stroke so that the beginning of the segment matches its end. Essentially, creating a seamless horizontal pattern. To make this task easier, I use a stroke less and fill less rectangle. This helps me control the distance between the start and end of the segment. Then, I use the intersect tool to cut out the necessary fragment and place it into the rectangle's mask. Now, I proceed to cut out the start and end fragments of the brush. I also place them within rectangles. Using the intersect tool again, I cut out the required fragment and place it into the rectangle's mask. This is necessary so that the height of all brush fragments is the same, which is essential for the pattern's integrity. Moving on to the most labor-intensive process creating the inner and outer corners. I'll arrange the future brush fragments in a zigzag pattern, and in the corners, I'll create squares using the rectangle tool. In these squares, I'll position the corner fragments that I've drawn beforehand. Don't forget to check all the junctions between the fragments for seamlessness. Next step is creating the brush. To do this, I select the main brush fragment, then, I open the brushes panel, and click on the new brush icon. In the pop-up window, I choose to create a pattern brush. The brush editing window opens up. I make sure to switch the colorization method to tints so that I can modify the brush color as needed later on. Also, I turn off auto-generated corner tiles since I've drawn these fragments myself. Now I'll move the outer corner to the brushes panel while holding down the Option or Alt key. Then, for the inner corner, I'll apply Vertical Reflect and flip it by 270 degrees to match the same position as the outer corner. Afterward, I'll move it to the corresponding cell while holding the Option or Alt key. In the same way, holding down the Option or Alt key, I'll add the end fragment of the brush and the start fragment to their respective cells. Now you can create, for example, a circle to test how the brush works. You can also create a more complex shape and apply the brush to it. As you can see, all the brush elements are in place, forming a seamless pattern. By the way, you can purchase this brush as part of a set of 10 brushes on my Gumroad page. This way, you'll support my work and creativity. I hope you enjoyed and found this tutorial helpful, but if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon.